Hi, day 28. Um, so today was really hard. Uh, I was tired. This is a really busy work week for me. And um, so I dozed off a little and didn't feel wildly productive, but I did still do the work and I did um, edit a couple paragraphs in the manuscript. Um, or maybe just one well. It's Gosh, some days it's so fun, and then some days it's so tedious, and I think it depends on maybe just how I'm feeling, and then also what the subject matter is. Um, so I, I started to get into some stuff that's kind of hard emotionally, and to really edit well, um, I, because I just, I feel like I've said before, this first draft I'm noticing now is just really, I forced myself to write it, I forced myself to keep going, and so it feels now as I'm going back like a shell of the book. And now I feel like I'm going in and it's my job to say, okay, we've got this structure, and now it's time to really assign the right words to it to create the imagery and the emotion that needs to be there in order for the book to be the experience that it's meant to be. So um, it just takes a lot. It's a lot. So um, I did it. I did talk to uh, a few weeks ago one of my dear friend's husband. She's actually my life coach. Hi, Valerie. Uh, her husband is a former professor a literature professor at Fort Lewis College and I spoke to him for a couple hours a couple weeks ago and that's the first and only person I've ever spoken to like that knows about this like I have no I've gone to no classes no training haven't even talked to anybody until I talked to him and that was a really encouraging wonderful experience for a couple reasons one I found out some things that um, I seemingly am on the right track on or doing well and right and that's without being educated in it at all um, and then also I learned a bunch of things that are gonna save me worry and time and extra just just things so learning was great uh, one of the things I learned that he told me is writers they tend to start off their book um, or story all just loving it and fired up and they put all this time into it and everything and then as it goes on they want to um, finish it and so they maybe don't give it the time and attention that it needs in the middle a lot of people put reading in the middle because the middle of a book is where it loses their attention and it might lose their attention because all of the energy and time was spent in the beginning when the writer was excited about what they were doing so I, that's one of the things I remember. That's why I'm like okay with this taking longer now because I don't want that to happen anywhere in there. There's obviously going to be some parts that are maybe a little more exciting or interesting than others, but I want to give each paragraph all that I have to give. Um, I think I get a little bit nervous about spending all this time and then maybe it all a bunch of it gets cut and you know because nobody's had their eyes on it I haven't gotten any real feedback but I'm kind of just letting that go like I know in my heart what the story needs to be and how it needs to be told and I will know to my core when I've given it what I've got to give and I just if I know that then why do anything less I can't do anything less I've got to give it what I know it needs and when I feel that, when I can read through it, and I feel like, yes, that's what it was, that's what it is, like, yes, and then I can move on to the next step. And me working on it every day, even if I only get a couple paragraphs done, or up to five pages, which I'm feeling like that's wildly productive, <laughs> um, as long as I do that every day, like it's not going to take me forever. I will finish this pass this year. Um, and that's just going to be good enough because that's what it needs. 
So this was a long video, a long chat today. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.